Just north of Brookings on the Southern Oregon coast is one of the most beautiful hiking trails in the world. The Samuel H. Borman State Park is bordered by the Pacific Ocean and Highway 101, allowing it the unique opportunity of having numerous access points and trailheads to explore the park's many diverse microclimates without having to commit to a long, strenuous adventure. Traveling north from Brookings is Lone Ranch. The parking area is at beach level. There are picnic tables and the protected cove is great for families and many people use this spot to launch their kayaks. The next two stops are viewpoints, Cape Ferrillo and House Rock. Both offer easy views just steps from your car. These are also perfect vantage points to spot gray whales migrating from Mexico to Alaska. The park's 18 miles of hiking trails can be accessed from any of these pull-offs, allowing numerous short strolls or the ability to explore all 18 magical miles of rugged bluffs, secluded beaches, and offshore islands. The next stop is Whales Head Beach. A gravel road leads down to a picnic area and a long stretch of beach with the iconic rock formation that resembles a breaching whale. The Southern Oregon coast is known for big waves and Indian sands is one of the best locations to view them. The trail leads down to one of the more unique geographic areas of the park and with tall sand dunes and cliffs that drop off to a raging and churning ocean with waves that crash into the bluffs that you are standing on. <laughs> oh my God, this is Samuel Boardman State Park. This is Indian Sands. There's many ways that you can jump off on the Oregon coast and do little short hikes. And it is a big wave day. It is 30 foot waves today. And when there's big waves on the Southern Oregon coast, just north of Brookings, you wanna come down to Indian Sands and put your children and your dogs on a leash as we are on the cliffs of Oregon. But the show is amazing. Follow Highway 101 over Thomas Creek Bridge, one of the tallest highway bridges in Oregon, to another viewpoint that must be seen, natural bridges. This easy access viewpoint is literally just a few feet from your car on a beautiful boardwalk. The trail to the north leads to Secret Beach and out to Thunder Rock Cove. The Thunder Rock Cove Trailhead is a short 15 minute hike to one of the most dramatic areas of the park. It is one of my favorite places to picnic with breathtaking views to the north and to the south. So we left Indian Sands and the big wave show. This is Thunder Rock Cove, another one of my very favorite places. We're very high on a cliff on a little plateau of grass. And there's still a great wave show and it's time for lunch. Many of the trails in the park follow along steep cliffs, so take care with your pets and your children. The park winds through old growth Sitka spruce and is on the Pacific Flyway, a bird migration route, so do consider bringing binoculars. The final stop is Arch Rock Picnic Area. Just sitting in your car offers spectacular views of the offshore islands. A short trail leads to more viewpoints and the namesake Arch Rock itself. Exploring Samuel H. Boardman State Park is one of the must-do activities when visiting Brookings, Oregon and I easily found a secluded spot to sit and watch the sunset into the ocean.